My next guests are both award-winning actors, but it's their iconic TV couplehood that made fans fall in love with them for eight seasons. Terry Hatcher and James Denton played soulmates Susan Mayer and Mike Delfino in the ABC hit series Desperate Housewives. Sadly, their on-screen romance came to an end, but Terry and James are back together on screen for their first time in nine years together for their Hallmark Christmas movie debut in the new film, A Kiss Before Christmas. And guess what? We are reuniting them in person on our show. Please welcome Terry Hatcher and James Denton together again. <laughs> You look like a holiday Christmas right? joy ball. I love yes. it. That's it's what I like, was going for, a holiday <laughs> Christmas joy ball. It's just like the old days. She's glamorous and beautiful, and I look like I'm here to fix I the sink. I was thinking that. I thought, wait a minute. This is reminding me of all times with me at home watching the two of you and falling in love with your characters. Uh, I thank you for being reunited on this show. Thank you. We're so excited. Thank you for having me. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I mean, so this film... It ends the nine-year drought of us seeing you together. It does. It, How did it, it feel to walk on a set together for the first time and to be working together? Well, like, lots of time had passed and, like, zero time had passed, you know? Uh, I think we're just so used to each other that it's just chemically sort of in you that it just felt like, oh, I saw you yesterday. Um, but we hadn't. Yeah. So the first time we saw each other... I was, so typical the, of us. I was in this crummy little wardrobe trailer, and I was in between changing outfits, and I had my mask on, of course, and not much else. <laughs> and I heard him walk by, and I was like, that's his voice. That's his voice. And I didn't even remember that I was hardly wearing anything. Oh, and gosh. I almost, like, <laughs> ran out into the hallway. But, yeah, take it from there. No, it was great. That was the first <laughs> time we saw it. I mean, oh, enough said. Oh, right? I mean... So that, that was the first time we see each other in, you know, nine years. But uh, it was, you know, it was pretty amazing. And then being on set, when the cameras finally rolled, you know, it was the first scene was a little weird because it felt like you want to fall back into being Mike Delfino. Yeah. Which is kind of like quiet and reserved. And my character in this is wildly different, thankfully. So it was a little bit of getting over that. Oh, we were different people now. But it was fun. That is so fun. I mean, the chemistry, obviously, then and now, is fantastic. You can't make this up. People, I know that you're both phenomenal actors, but that's that's real. And I love, to your point, um, James, the premise of this film, it is looking back at one's life and past decisions and what we would do different and how we would treat people differently. It really is. And it's, um, you know, it's a little bit, it's a wonderful life, a little bit heaven can wait. And this guy actually gets a chance to see what his life would have been like had he made different decisions. And it teaches you to be, you know, to be grateful because, you know, Boy, it may yeah. look better. You know, the grass may look greener, but, you know, it's like C.S. Lewis said, gratitude makes whatever you have enough. Yeah. And that's it's really so true. true, you know. It um, is so true. And that, that's what my character finds out. This is, I mean, listen, I love the holidays because of the fashions like Terry's wearing, <laughs> but also these kind of films that remind us. We have a clip of it. Let's play it. Okay, just remember, I told you this was going to make you question my sanity. Oh, I'm counting on it. <sighs> yeah, right, right. I have this problem that I have to solve, but I need somebody to talk with, somebody that I trust. You. We don't know each other. About that. Um, I'm not the Ethan Holt that you think I am. It's a long story, but it all started just a few days ago when I met Santa in a train station. <laughs> You know, when, when you know someone so well, Terry, is it hard to stay in character? Because I would just think there's so many inside jokes and inside communications between the two of you. Well, there definitely are, but I think also I got to see James do really different work than he had done as Mike. So while there was a complete familiarity and trust, it was actually fun to just sort of observe him doing more comedy, frankly, he, mm -hmm. he, in this, and, um, and being this guy who's just so desperately, not to, you know, pick that word, but um, just so <laughs> desperately, like, struggling to 
to convince me and 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 fix his his mistake. You yeah, know? I am so fascinated by this new version of you as well, entering into the world of comedy. Oh, and you talk about <laughs> with James showing his funny side. You are a part of a stand-up special. We have a clip of that. Let's play it. Confidence can be elusive as we age. You know, part of us is wise enough to just not take any more <laughs> And part of us looks in the mirror while putting on makeup and wonders, why bother? <laughs> I love it. The special is even more funny women of a certain age. Yes. What made you decide? Because you are keeping it real. It is womanhood. It is our real challenges. Sorry, James. Oh. It, but it is what we are like without our beautiful white dresses on and our suits. It's the real womanhood. Well, I was really lucky and grateful that this brilliant comedian, Carol Montgomery, um, this is her baby, this funny woman of a certain age, and Showtime has done a few other specials, and so they asked me to be a part of this one, along with five other great comics, which is intimidating in itself. Um, but I have been exploring, beginning to try to write comedy like that, and I feel like I have a perspective on aging, and I have something to say about being single, about uh, being an empty nester, about uh, having been a single mom. And I want to be able to say those things in a funny, very self-deprecating way, mostly so that other women don't feel alone. I love it, to your point. Humor and self-reflection, as the holiday mm -hmm. film presents, mm -hmm. I think are the elixirs to life. And ah, congratulations sure. yes. on being back together, and we're excited <laughs> for it. Oh, thank you.